Hello everybody, welcome back to a World of Warship Bits game, and this time it is in a new ship that I have unlocked. I am starting to become a bit of an unlock fiend, so having unlocked the, uh, I can't remember what, recently, um, I've unlocked a few. So the Monarch, obviously, and the King George V, um, I'm pretty sure I unlocked something else, or oh, the Gajamata. And I unlocked the Lexington, although I just free XP'd my way through so I could use, use up all the blueprints and safely know that I could sell any future um, uh, aircraft carrier blueprints. So let's hope they don't come out with British carriers in any time soon. But anyway, we are in the Tier 8 Benson. So this Benson is fairly vanilla. It's got some camo on it because, well, I've got some camo from the event. Um, it's got some supplies, but it has no equipment slots, and it has no elite bonus, because the Benson, much like the Mahan, has excellent options for equipment slots. So this is the Benson unmodified, no captain on board, which I should probably fix up, but then again, I really wanted to work out whether or not I liked it before I put a captain on it, and this is the second game, and I can say pretty safely that I like it. So the Benson, um, well, it's got, well, it's my style of sort of destroyer because it's got these really nice wide five um, torpedo spreads, which are really good for denying periods, parts of the ocean, um, and basically creating havoc. So, um, yeah, so it makes it a nice knife fighter. Here we go. That, um, that cruiser is sending a few torpedoes our direction to try and, um, hit us off, but we're well. The reason that I came out this side really was that I thought I could provide a distraction and prevent those a number of ships from going in, and um, yeah, could keep them distracted over essentially trying to protect their own cap. So that's what I'm doing. Got a Brooklyn for backup, which is nice, and that Brooklyn does do a good job of backing up, which is great to see. And here's the Gajamata trying to, um, yep, well, he's trying to get himself into a position to have a go at one of our ships um, and it's a gunfight between me and the Gajamata. Now the Pan-Asian ships do actually have reasonably good guns so um, it's not yeah it's not as unfair as you'd think however at close range their torpedoes can't hurt me and my torpedoes can definitely most definitely hurt him and as you can see we've flushed him out of the smoke because he's seen what's coming if he's hiding around in that smoke stationery, then he's going to be basically hammered pretty badly. Um, I've got a bit of censorship going on there because um, I was receiving text messages during this game and I thought the game's too good to lose, so I'll just uh, we'll do the amateur job of blocking up the text message and give a bit of privacy. Anyway, here we go. Um, here's the Benson. So we're going to put a couple of spreads in the water. Um, or at least one spread in the water. Just to deny the um, the Benson um, the ability to get back in the cap circle, we'll put some um, torpedoes in the water there for no real reason other than, well, actually he's nearly dead, but I just need to make damn sure of it. Um, and although I can with gunfire, the last thing I need, well, actually the torpedo did the job anyway. The last thing I need is to be hammered by the main battery of a Wichita, because I haven't taken the full steps to expediently get rid of it. That Gajamata is going off there. He needs to heal. Um, I want to hit him before he heals. But unfortunately that would leave me not dealing with this. And this is a Bok Kagero. Which is a bit annoying because it will, unlike other human Japanese destroyers, it will fire guns. And the guns are actually relatively hard hitting. Our torpedoes are back on steam. Loving the reload, loving the widespreads, good error denial. All we're doing here is basically saying, get out of our cap. Or, well, actually, what really does actually happen is not just get out of our cap, it's, uh, he's gone. So we're on about half health. Uh, still on cooldown from a repair party. Um, there's three of us, two of them. Yep, still three of us, something just disappeared there. We've got three caps, racking up the points. We know this Gajamata is on shockingly low health. Um, he'll be, whoops, there he goes, having a go. And um, 
yeah, my guns were mostly round to the left. Now I'm still trying to work out what equipment to put on the Benson, and I'm going to have to say, um, well, the gun rotation's pretty good, so I don't have to worry about putting uh, main turret traverse on. Um, in fact, I'm a bit confused about what to put on the Benson. The turning's relatively good. Um, I think if I don't need speed, then I will drop in some concealment. That suits my style. And basically means that I can better pick engagements. And it means I won't be outspotted. So when the engagements start, I'll be the one making the decisions rather than the enemy. And there we go. Um, so a low damage match because mainly it was fighting smaller ships. A lot of skirmishing going on. Meaning the Nelson took the most valuable player. But um, for a second game out in the vanilla ship, the Benson's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So three kills, two caps, well the same cap twice, um, after a bot Kagera took it off me. And 51 main battery hits, five torpedo hits, three kills. So yeah, a lot of assists there. So yeah, so all I can say about the Benson is, well, actually, I like it. Tier 8 American ships actually turn out to be pretty good ships. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.